game, I'd say he's trending in the right direction yesterday. Thanks. Mike? Yeah, Coach, uh, at my age, Cougar hunting is a fantasy. <laughs> you know, just one thing, you know, when you look at the, at the sacks with Aaron Rodgers compared to a couple of years ago, 49 sacks, 25 touchdown passes, this year 13 and 36, how much do you have to adjust coverages for the possibility the likelihood that you're really not going to get to them as much as you would like? How much does that impact? Well, I, I, playing Aaron Rodgers uh, makes you adjust to everything. Um, you know, he's he's just playing at such a high level right now. Does an outstanding job of understanding and diagnosing what you're what you're presenting him, um, and, and then he gets the ball out as, as quick as anybody. And so he's he's a hard guy to get to. So you know, you got you got to change things up. You got to try to um, you know mix it up for him to make it as as hard as you can on him. But um, like I said, he's he's about as good as they as they come at diagnosing all that. That's great. Thank you. Michael, you want to finish the Brett Favre hunting story because you kind of left it halfway through, it seemed like? No, I, I, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. You sure? <laughs> um, with Kenny Galladay, I know I asked you, I think it was last week, whether a guy needs to practice in order to play. At this point, when a guy's been out as long as Kenny has, like if he doesn't practice on a Thursday, is, like even on a Thursday, is the chance of him playing pretty minimal at this point? Well, if, if he could go today and, you know, and show us, um, then, you know, then we would, you know, I would be good with him playing. But again, Mike, the thing is, is it's important to, you know, that he would be in a certain role, you know, just, um, I, I mean, there's, there's a ramping up period to make sure that these guys aren't going to, you know, injure something else with all of a sudden going from zero to 60. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens today, see if we can get him out there today, and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. Do you anticipate him being able to practice today? Um, there, there's a chance, um, you know, I talked to them last night. I haven't seen, I haven't talked to them this morning since everybody's gotten in the building, but I'll communicate with Dave downstairs, you know, after this actually, and then uh, we'll see what happens this afternoon. And just one other question is Isaac Nada ended up back, ended up with Green Bay. He's been with you for a long time at this point. This may be more of a coordinator question, but do you have to change up some of the calls or anything because he would then know all of that? I know, that's a question that's been asked forever of coaches, but this is really your first time in the head coaching seat with that type of Yeah, Mike, it's de- I mean, it's definitely a concern. You know, it's, it's something that we, that we think about all the time, and, uh, you know, all, all of us are pretty secretive about what we're doing. Um, you know, with, with the, you know, nowadays with the TV cameras and, you know, microphones everywhere, you know, I think, uh, you know, there's, there's always some of that going on anyway, just changing things up, but definitely when a player, you know, goes to a you know, uh, you know, the opponent that you're playing that week, I mean, it's something we have to definitely take into consideration, yes. Appreciate it, Bev. Thanks. All right, Dave, last one. Hey, Bev, uh, two things. First on Swift, were you guys able to ever uh, determine if he for sure had a concussion and if he was still dealing with headaches after he was out of protocol? Was there some, I don't know, could it not have been a concussion? Could it just have been migraines? Is there some fine line there that, that between the two, I guess? Yes, I, th- I think the, it's safe to say there is a fine line there, Dave. And, you know, I don't, I don't think it's, um, you know, for me to be able to comment on his health, you know, and into the public. But, um, yes, there's, there is, you know, fine line and, and things there that we, were, that we were looking at, yes. But, so did he have a concussion, just to be clear? I mean, was that? I, I cannot say that. Okay. Um, and then you talked a little bit last week about this, and I guess, uh, you know, it's, it's, I mean, everyone sort of knows it, right? There's so much uncertainty right now with, with what happens at the end of the season for you, for players, for everyone. And, and people are playing for jobs, I mean, whether it's with this team or others. What is the fine line, I guess, uh, with that dynamic, you know, that, that maybe whether you want to be here, not you, but whether people want to be here or be somewhere else trying to do too much, you know, to, to make sure that, that that happens, that they put on film what they need to put on film. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's super important. I mean, all of us are, are playing for, you know, our job really every week, every, you know, every game. Um, I don't think it's something that becomes a distraction. Um, I always worry about us over trying and trying to get outside of what we're doing to, you know, to make a play. And so, you know, that's, that's why the focus is really on it's, it's always about us. It's about how we play. Um, you know, the, the football field has not changed dimensions. You know, the football hasn't changed dimensions. The game that they've been playing since they're eight years old hasn't changed at all. So it's just go out there and play, play fast, play free. Um, and, I, and I think that's, you know, can be a really freeing experience where you, you, you get out of your own head, you just go play a game that you love to play, and you play it at a high level and, all, you know, and not worry about those type of things. You've been here for, you know, most of two seasons now. Do you, what do you think of the, the nucleus that's here and just what it means for the future? Uh, well, I, I know for sure we have a bunch of great guys in that room. I mean, um, you know, 
first of all, great men in terms of you know, who they are as people and, and human beings, you know, not being attributed to the Lions, but just as, as people, which, you know, which I appreciate first and foremost. They're, you know, they're good guys. They're guys that I would, you know, I would want to hang out with outside of this building. But then, you know, in the building, I think it's very important to them. Uh, we got a lot of players that love this game. We've got a lot of players that do love the Lions um, and, you know, and, and love playing for that logo um, as, well as, as well as their name. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Bev. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.